welcome to Sarah's Stampin' Me Retreat. Today we're going to do something that we've not done for a little while and that is part of my whole paper pad use up series. So I had so much going on that I've not done an instalment of this for a little while and for those of you that have joined since the last instalment this is a series that I'll link in the description below where I'm using up this entire paper pad. And technically I'm using up half the paper pad because there's two sheets of each so then you can create everything twice but it's giving you the ideas to use up a whole paper pad. So today's video is going to be about using your large dies with your paper packs and I've only got kind of a small amount of really big pieces left in this pack so I'm going to do this video and then probably the next videos will be kind of scraps use up ones. And to create the cards, I'm going to be using this selection of dies from In Love Art Shop. So, so I've mainly chosen kind of cover dies and then we've got this happy die as well. I'll show you them as we go through. And don't forget, if you're buying anything from In Love Art Shop, all the dies are linked below. And if you put in the code Sarah25, which I'll also add below, then you'll get 25% off your entire order. So the first I'm going to use is this lovely kind of starburst type one. And I like the fact that it has this round the outside, but also I think that this piece that it cuts out of the middle is really nice for using on its own on cards for things like sentiments. So I'll be saving that for another card. So for this first card, I've cut this once from the navy card stock and once from this piece of floral paper from the pack. So I've cut a piece of double sided adhesive sheet and that is very very slightly like maybe a sixteenth of an inch smaller than my die cut. And I'm going to add that onto here. Then I'm going to tear this off and then I'm going to add this navy die cut over the top. And then you can use the piece of release paper just to press that down without getting stuck to the adhesive. And then I'm going to add on all these pieces. So I've left this all in the die. I'm just going to place that over the top and then I'm just going to poke these pieces through. And I can take the die off and leave all those pieces behind. You can see there's a couple that I just miss there, so let's just pop those ones through. And then if I wanted to, I could do another back to front card. So I could lay the navy pieces inside the floral frame. So then I've used this happy die and I've cut the letters from this really pale pink cardstock that goes nicely with this background and the outline from navy. So I'm just gonna glue those together. And I'm going to use this birthday stamp from this Alex Siberia Designs Birthday Wishes stamp set. And I'm just going to stamp that in navy ink onto this pink cardstock. And now I'm going to put, pop the whole sentiment up on foam pads. So then that's cut that card finished, a really nice quick and simple card that really makes the most of that pattern paper. So then for the next card I'm going to create a shaker card. I'm going to use this happy birthday from this happy birthday and big hugs set. And it creates a happy birthday like that that is slightly smaller than a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card blank. You can see it just has a slight border around the outside on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card blank. And I'm going to create a shaker card for this one. So I've cut a piece of this pattern paper that just fits below here. And I've cut this piece of acetate so that it's an inch bigger than this piece of pattern paper. And I would say that if you are following along with this with a different pattern paper pad, you don't want too flimsy a paper. This one's a bit more like a kind of very lightweight cardstock than a paper. So then I'm going to score it at half an inch on each side. So then I'm going to score this along each fold. 
I want to burnish that really nicely along there as well. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a triangle off each corner. I'm going to make sure that I go through that point where the two sets of score lines meet. So then I'm going to add double sided tape onto each of these flaps and I'm going to add it really close to that score line. Then I'm going to put my piece of paper upside down in here and then I'm going to seal down three of the sides behind it. Doesn't matter which three. So then we've got that pocket. So then I'm going to add some pieces in. Just kind of anything that you have on hand really that goes with it and fits in nicely. You might want to add glitter sequins, gems. And then I'll add in a bit of glitter too. That's the Wow Calamari Earth Sparkles Glitter. It's biodegradable glitter. And it's a really nice shade, like a quite a champagne-y type of gold. So now that I've got those pieces in, I'm going to seal the final side. I can mix those bits up a bit. And then I want to add this over the front. So I use sticky dot sheets a lot in my videos. I've had a lot of people asking about them. But the ones that I was using previously were discontinued. So I've brought these sticky specs from Creative Expressions and I really love them. So finally I've got some that I can link for you all. So the little dots on these are so tiny I doubt you can even see them on screen. They're really tiny which actually makes them really great for this kind of thing because you get them all over the place. So I'm going to pop this in here. I'm going to pop this over the top and just burnish it on. Then I'm going to take this off. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera, but there's loads of tiny, tiny, tiny little sticky dots on there to hold it down. But also, there are still loads left on here, so I would go over that bit again with something else because there's still loads and loads left on there. And they're just perfect for this kind of thing where wet glue doesn't really stick to acetate that well or you need loads of time to dry it and this kind of thing is too fine for like double-sided tape or anything so this is just literally perfect for this so now we've got our little shaker pocket and then all i'm going to do now is add that to my card front so i'm going to add some double-sided tape to the acetate around the outside of this just to make sure that that gets stuck down as well and then I'll add some wet glue to the middle piece because obviously that's just paper and it'll stick fine with wet glue. To be fair you could probably just get away with just sealing it around the outside but I like to add some wet glue as well. And all of the cards that I'm doing today you could do with pretty much any pattern paper you've got in your collections. So then we've got a lovely shaker birthday card. So then for this next card, I've got a really pale pink card blank. And then I've used this die here to cut a panel from both the navy cardstock and this paper. So then I'm just going to glue this frame onto the cardstock. And, and if you're not very confident with making your glue not gloopy, then the sticky dots are perfect for this as well and then I'm going to glue in these pieces from the pattern paper I'm using pattern paper for this instead of coloured cardstock just gives it a really nice kind of extra level of detail I'm actually sharing another card tomorrow night on my channel using this die that is for the launch of the new June release from wow and don't miss that because you can actually enter to win the whole new release but that is a completely different look so i've done it in a slightly different way in completely different colors and you've got the texture of the embossing powders instead of this paper and it just gives it a completely different look and i think that's really nice 
to just get so many completely different looks from one die set and also you could use this like with some jewelry players you can remove these sections from the outline of the die so then it's also really easy to use with your scraps of pattern paper because you could cut each of these from different scraps of paper and get another look again so you've got kind of more of a patchwork look so then I've cut this happy and birthday just like I did before I'm going to pop those up on some fine pads So then there's that next card finished. So then I'm going to make another shaker card with this one. But it's going to be different to the shaker card we made before. Whereas the other one was more of an infinity shaker card. This is more of a traditional shaker card. So again, I'm going to use these sticky specs. I'm actually going to use the same piece that I used before. Because it's still got so many on that it's still perfectly good to use. It's not like with double-sided sticky tape where you can only just use it once because there's so many specs they don't all stick at once so you can use them several times before all the stickiness is gone so then I'm going to glue this piece that I've die cut with that starburst die and I'm going to add that onto a piece of acetate that is just slightly smaller so then I've got these shaker strips so the ones that I use for my shaker cards are a little bit deeper than the ones I usually use. Now you can see these ones are the ones I usually use for like my sentiments and things and these are the ones I use for shakers. And that is so that you get the depth that you need if you want to add in some of the kind of like bigger gems and things. If you're just going to go with glitter or like flat sequins or anything like that then these ones are fine. Or, if you only have these, you could double them up as well, like stack them on top of each other. So I'm putting this round here, but I'm making sure that it butts up really close to this side that I've added on. So I don't want any gaps in there. So you can see I've lined that round and there's no gaps between any of my pieces of foam so then I've cut a piece of pattern paper that's the same size as the starburst die so I'm going to glue that to the front of my card and then for this one I'm going to go with some of these sequins which are from Ultimo some more of those that biodegradable glitter and a few more of those kind of shaker pieces as well so you want to make sure that nothing is near the edges because you don't want anything to kind of stick under the foam. Now I'm going to take the backing off the foam and I'm going to place it over here. And that can shake about inside. And then I've used this same happy, but this time I've cut the happy from some of the pattern paper. I've just cut it from this one, and that means it's the exact blue to kind of match with the background, which is really nice. Once again, I'm just going to use that same birthday stamp and I'm going to stamp on a piece of blue cardstock this time. And then I don't think we need the extra dimension on this card because we've already got the shaker dimension. So I'm just going to add these onto, again, the same lot of sticky specs. I don't know if you'll be able to see the, it on camera, but there's still plenty for the back of there. And then we've got this one finished with that lovely shaker element. So then I've saved a really simple card for the last one and it uses this big hug style that comes in a pack with this happy birthday one that we used earlier. And I cut the whole thing from black cardstock and then just the big piece from gold cardstock. 
Now you could do this a couple of ways. So you could do it like I've done and just put a piece of gold behind the big. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because I only need the insides of these, the circles, then I can cut these excess bits off so that I've just got the eye and none of this from underneath. And I'll use these again. Or if you wanted to, you could make this as a kind of a two four card. So you could cut it, the whole thing in the dark blue and the whole thing in the gold and you can interchange the pieces. And you can see again, I can just cut the pieces off the B and then I can use that on a different card. And I'll probably use it as big and then put a small like birthday wishes underneath. So I've actually cut this card blank to an eighth of an inch smaller than normal. So it's actually four and eighth inches by five and three eighth inches. And that's because I didn't want an overhang on this one round here, whereas the die is created so it's got a small overhang. And then I've cut this stripy paper to the same size. Then I'm gonna add this on. And again, I'm going to use these sticky dots. And again, I'm going to use the same piece. I'm just going to put it over before. Because what I'm putting on has die cut bits in different places. Then it's still adding sticky dots to the back, even though we've kind of used this piece several times now. And then we'll have a look at the back once I've torn this up. Because we've used it a few times now, so there might be a few places where I've not got sticky dots on the back. Really, the only place that I need to add some is just in right in this corner here. So I can just add that back on. And then that's fine. The whole of that's covered now. And I think that this kind of thing is really nice to do with pattern paper. Because then the pattern paper in the background just adds a nice texture to it. So you could just leave it like that if you wanted to. But I'm going to add a little bit of glue into each of these dots. And then I'm going to use the waste from the gold die cut just to fill them all in. Most of the dots fell out on this one, but if you have a few left like on this eye, then you can just place it over and just poke them through and that is a bit quicker if you got some left like that so then that's that final card finished so then there are all five of today's cards i really hope that you've enjoyed creating them with me please do let me know which is your favorite in the comments below if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate you clicking like below. And you can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. All of the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below. And there's a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.